Dr. John Dombrowski is director of the Center for Pain Medicine in Washington, D.C. Welcome back, doctor. Good to see you. Great to be back. This is not only confusing for a lot of people, but it's troubling for a lot of people because they rely on these medications, and all of a sudden, they're not available anymore. So do you think it's a big deal that Bextra is now gone? This is an incredibly confusing time for patients, physicians, and even the FDA. Because here we're trying to be active, healthy, eat right, exercise, and I need these medications to keep me where I need to be. And if I've been taking these medications or I'm taking the third COX-2 inhibitor, which is Celebrex, right. I've got to be worried about this now. I'm thinking, when are they going to take that one away from me? Well, I think the thing that we need to look at is your particular risk. And even the FDA has said certain people are at a greater risk. Those types of people should be people with heart disease, people with angina, people with previous stomach ulcers, people have had a stroke or a mini stroke. So in terms of the COX-2 inhibitors, the only one left is Celebrex. Right. When, in the past, when you have prescribed pain medication for people with severe pain, how have they compared the effects of those drugs, those COX-2 inhibitors? You know, it's very unique, and I've looked at this in my particular practice, that some COX-2s work with one patient, and others, the same one, doesn't for the other. So that's the reason why it was nice to have a choice. Isn't it, isn't it true that some people feel Celebrex is not as potent you, as Bextra is for their particular kind of pain? There's my example right there. That's exactly what people do think. Are, are, is the government saying that these drugs pose a risk when used under normal circumstances or only when used for too long a period of time and at too high a dosage? That's the excellent point. They're trying to tell us right now that we should start low and go slow. And that's what I always tell my patients. Use the fewest number of pills for the fewest number of days. And for the people who were using Bextra and Vioxx before, it, which are now both off the market, right. are the NSAIDs a, a possible alternative for them, or do we then bring in the whole stomach issue? We're going we're gonna to look at that, and there's going to be a warning on those big bottles that we get at Costco, those 500 pills. We have a tremendous, we feel there's a lot of safety there. I'm buying them in bulk at 500. They must be safe. This FDA warning say perhaps we should rethink that. And, and the problem there, a potential problem, is that they wear away at the stomach lining and could cause bleeding. That's one. And also is the cardiovascular risk of the heart attack and stroke. All right. Let's talk about some of your advice for consumers. First is consult your doctor. That's always good advice. Yes. But this next one may surprise some people. Lose weight. Exactly. You're talking about to alleviate pain. Right. It's very simple. They just had a recent study in uh, the College of Rheumatology just came out. If you lose 5% of your weight, you're going to have a better quality of life. 30% to 40% of people's got better results for their osteoarthritis and their knee pain. Because less had. stress on their joints. Exactly. So losing weight can help and, and use integrative pain techniques. What do you mean by that? Integrative pain techniques could be several things. Number one, injections. If my shoulder hurts or my knees hurt, there are injection therapies that can be done for this. We've heard them forever. The cortisone shot. It's been wonderful. But you don't want to get carried away with, with cortisone. Again, start low and go slow. Again, the other thing that we could do with the Synvisc, other things that we've talked about are certainly medical acupuncture and yoga. All right, so there's a lot of alternatives, but again, it is confusing for <laughs> consumers is. out there, and so it's important to get them some information. Dr. John Dombrowski, thanks, doctor. I appreciate Great it. Great to be back.